A piece of cardboard, a can of paint. Mark Brennan is spelling things out very simply. And what he's doing is a sign of the times. You know, I'm, I'm her oldest son. You know, I miss her. To see her and joke with her and have a milkshake with her, that kind of thing, that, that stinks. You can't do that right now. Another casualty of the coronavirus, John can't visit his mom, Anne Marie. Not a fun trick, but. Stricken with Alzheimer's, Anne Marie lives at Masonic Care in Wallingford. As long as she smiles, right? But style points count. An uphill walk, then around the building, brings you to a balcony. There she is. And it's there. Hi, Mom. Where Mark and Mom now meet. How are you, Mom? Greeted by a new sign each time. She's got great vision. Hearing, not so good. So the phone is painful. Ma, you like this sign better or the other sign better, Ma? And the signs, you know, she can read the signs very easily. So you think outside the box like everybody else is doing, and this is my thing outside the box, I guess. Mark says the grandmother of six does get the message. You know what? It's, it's again, it's not exactly uh, Huckleberry Finn, but got the idea, and she understood it. She smiled, she laughed, and, um, you know, got the point across. So yeah, I spelled it right and everything. I will say this. I mean, it's uh, unprecedented times, but, you know, our th what we're seeing is unprecedented hope. And uh, this was particularly heartwarming. And for as long as they're apart. How you doing? Mark Mom. says it won't take much Mother. to draw them back together. You know, to see Mom smile, for anybody that has their mom smile, it's, it's a great thing. In Wallingford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.